Hey, welcome back, guys. We're gonna, today we're gonna learn how to troubleshoot the ABS light and fall on a rear ABS sensor on a M2 2011 tractor straight truck on a WACO system. All right, we're in a WACO uh, toolbox, and we're gonna pull up the diagnostic code. We're gonna go into tractor ABS diagnostics. And if you can see, there's a red I'll light up here in a minute when it lights up. And then it says, yes, there's an active fault. Move fault displays, and it should tell you how to troubleshoot it. The active faults. And fault, and yeah, we have uh, active code. And to check it, it says check the rear, right rear sensors out, and the ohms are 700 and 300 within that spec, so let's get right to it. So here it is, the right rear tire. And I'm gonna show you the sensor right here in the back. It's right, hang on, let me get over here. Let me get my flashlight and we'll look down in here. I'm gonna to point to it, it's right, right there. See it right there? And see if I can see a little bit there see it's right there it goes inside the wheel well so we got to disconnect it right there it goes it's about six feet long no nah, it's about like four feet long so we're gonna get under the truck and we're gonna take it off see I'm right here everybody's gonna take it off right here disconnect it from the plug it's only like four feet long it's a two-prong pin right there see it right there so we got my fluke meter we're gonna set it to 2,000 ohms, and when you check the resistance, remember the spec is between four, I mean, seven to 3,000. So I'm gonna set it up for you. I'm gonna put inserts into the pins. I'm gonna set this down here. All right, see, it's at 1,126 ohms. So I'm gonna take the wheel off and the hub off and see if the distance of the sensor is right. Let's see, we're gonna jack it up first. Let's get this jacked up. It's taking a little long here, but we're gonna jack it up. <laughs> jack it up, baby. There we got it up in there. Let's take the wheels off here. Get the impact gun and we'll take the wheels off. Yeah, let's take these off. All right. The right rear sensor though. So let's set these off real quick. Take the second wheel off. Take this back and play. Let me see if I can see the sensor in here. See if it, sometimes this could be too far distant, but I, I don't think that's it. to loosen it up. I'm gonna pull it off. All right, I'm gonna click, the, click these zip ties right here to, uh, it's only two zip ties. I take this little bracket off right here. I think it's a, Harness through. So I'm gonna lay it here down in a minute. See the little plug. I'm gonna pull it through. Here's the ABS on. You just need to. You just gotta tap it out. And you can push it out with a, a pry bar. I tap it with the hammer on the back end. And pull this wiring through the back of the hub. You can see I'm gonna pull it through. And right there. See it. 
Get it out. See? Drop it on the floor. It's good, and we're going to get the new one. Right. We got to take the bracket out first. All right, guys, we got this ABS retainer clip we're going to pull out. So I just got to use some, I use this angle needle goals to get, kind of push it, and kind of squeeze it and pull it out. It's not too bad. Let me get this out of here. See, uh, I'm going to test this ABS sensor so you can see how it's set up and the plug is down there. I got it connected. Both ends inside the plug. Goes around, goes into my uh, meter. It's at ohms, 2000 ohms, which is the, the um, spec is between 700 to 3000 ohms. So it's in spec, but when you move this around, there's a high resistance with this connection. Wait, did I see that? No, look at that. Here, there's a, there's a short in this, this wire. See that? See it? It's like a fine short. Sometimes it can trick you if you don't pull the wiring out. And it's Let's open it up. Get the grease, retainer clip, and the sensor. So this is called a like the spring holder, like that holds the sensor in. And you're supposed to add grease on this and insert this in all the way to the end and then we'll install the sensor. So it comes to insulation guides. I read some of it. See that the the distance is um, uh, four tenths of an inch allowed of, of the gap of the sensor. Mm -hmm. Let's get it started. All right, guys, we got the new retainer clip. We're gonna put back in for the ABS sensor. Just squeeze it and push it in. I'm gonna, you just gotta work it in. You gotta make sure you squeeze it. And, Put it in by hand. I just what I did. I didn't get the video for that, but just push it in all the way in. And now we're going to install this the sensor. You can see the hole. That's where it goes. You got to push that in right there through there. I put some lube on it. You got to push it through that way. That one plug in the two-way plug. That part right there. You got to push that through. I put some lube on it and just work it through all right guys see this part right here the end can be kind of hard to get through little 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 hard to get to this end right here let's get through the hole that you post put it to the back of the hub see that hole right right there you see it right down there so you just gotta i put a little bit of lube on it and kind of just worked it in there and it comes through you just gotta use those same needle nose i used to put the the, the retainer clip in there all right all right and so you just pull it through and then you, you're going to put the sensor all the way back i got it halfway to show you guys pushing it in push it in all right you just going to get it with my fingers all right do like a screwdriver Touching, I just put it next to it touching. So when the hub moves, it'll make its own distance. So it's like a ten, four tenths, of, four tenths of an uh, inch away from the hub. So when it starts moving, it's going to push it away because it, it has its bearing play. So uh, and the, I just push it all the way against it, and then it'll, it'll move against itself when you're done. So push it all the way towards it, and right next to this tone ring right here, this is called the tone ring, and then what? <coughs> See little gaps in it. That's why it gets single and it drops out the voltage in and out, in and out, in and out. From makes a voltage to the sensor. And when that drops out, and the computer sees the drop out, the voltage is set. That's how it knows the counts of how fast is the the speed of the wheels going. So, so make sure it's touching, and then we're gonna put it all back together, route it back through, and zip tie it up, and I'll show you what we're done if it works or not.
All right, guys, we're going to go back into the web code toolbox and we're going to check and see if the fault is still there. And you can see there's no active faults, and there's, yet there is one stored. So we're going to go in there and look. As you can see, on the very top, it's inactive now. It's not active no more. So the repair looks like it's been fixed it. So we're going to get this truck and we're going to start it up. All right, guys. Um, <clears throat> The ABS went out. I should have shown you before that it was on. So when you go over five miles an hour in any truck, it needs to see the, the movement of the wheels for the light to go out and the fault to go out. So I did that. I should have shown you guys that, but that's what you do when it's still on. You think you're driving around? You got to go over five miles an hour on most trucks to get this the computer to, to see this uh, the wheels moving and to get accurate readings to see if they're in spec. So everything went out. Everything turned out. And everything was it was a sensor. So we did a, a, a complete repair. Everybody, please subscribe and uh, like my channel. And thank you. Have a good day.